So there guys, welcome back to Towns with Shard and Valerius. Hello Valerius. Hello. What did you find so funny? Pause. Um, what did I find so funny? You, your little hand just sort of snaking in under the mic. What re- little Reaching hand? for the timer, I saw you. I don't know what you went about. Uh, Nothing happened. You thought I was going to forget to press it again, didn't you? Well, you do every single turn. <laughs> <laughs> I do every single turn. Every single turn. Every it's single it's turn. Like it's like life is like Civ. Life is turn-based. Yeah. That's the one cool thing about life that people don't realise. If you stand perfectly still, don't breathe, and shut your brain Time off... Time doesn't pass. Yeah? yeah. And then you could just calculate your next movement. Just... Of course, with no brain activity, it's quite hard. But you calculate your next movement, then when you do it, time passes for everyone. Just don't click and turn. You can't die if you don't click and turn. Exactly. That's so never click and turn. The golden rules. Someone's going to get run over by a bus now and might die, and they'll say that, that'll be their last words, Whoa. and we'll get sued for it. I did it in my turn! <laughs> <laughs> I did it in my turn! <laughs> Just dead. <laughs> it's like, so I suppose if you got hit by a bus, you'd probably be dead already. Well, if you got hit by a car, at least you got a chance. It makes me think of that beautiful thing of like those stop-motion games that are now popular thanks to Super Art, super where uh, art. you know, just imagine someone jumping out with a gun and pointing at you. As long as you freeze perfectly still, still they can't fire. Perfectly still. <laughs> The mistake people make is they move. Pass me that phone a sec. I want to just check something quickly. Is it the battery level? No. Is it whether you've deleted all the nudes? Uh, no, it was something we could actually speak about. If I can find really? It. Yeah. Wow. I can't wait for this. This is going to be exciting. So, while Valerius looks up something on his phone, like a fucking hipster, I'm googling how to... It. Uh, jokes. <laughs> that would be karma, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take to end my oh. turn. <laughs> there we go. Right? Okay. Dot IO. He's British. <laughs> British Indian Ocean Territory. <laughs> right. But it's not coming in the domain for tech websites and all that business. It's been going for ages. And with the new burst of games on it, yeah. that's what's brought it all around. Well, there's there's loads of these. It's like the .is games as I well. It's like so .is is just fucking Israel. There's loads of different domains, and now you can get like ones that don't even exist as a as a country code. So you yeah. can get .dot pretty much anything these days if you want to pay for it. Because like one of the things the porn industry did was get the .dot triple X. Oh. See if they did not there get might, .penis. There might be a .dot penis. I don't know. Also, I like how you've not mind the front part, but you find all the back part. Oh. That's the fucking opposite of what you meant to do. Oh, you assholes. You fucking assholes. You go over Honestly. there with other assholes. But yeah, no, that was a weird bit of trivia, really. The, the .io thing is actually like just a small company that's been running for absolutely ages. Just I don't think it's a company, a I think it's just a country code. Well, no, it was kind of like an up-and-coming thing used for like websites and such. Yeah. And it was like, it was like, kind dot, of rarely used. Dot no biz. Like a, yeah, <laughs> dot biz, dot org. Well, dot org took off a little bit more. Dot TV. But still, it's like all these things that, you know, people don't really use it. They use dot com and dot co uk and that's it. <laughs> it's like, if you ever look at them nowadays, that's mostly what it's, people go for. The thing is, it's like, why do we even need we don't. fucking, no. you know what I mean? Well, I imagine dot .com is uh, communication or something nowadays. Not what it was used to be used for. It all redirects you wherever you want to go anyway. It's like, yeah. if I open a web page and type google.com, it takes me to google.co.uk. Yeah. But I'll type .com because it's quicker. Yeah, but you've got to realise there's coding behind that. What it does is it yeah. takes you to .com and then checks your but browser why... if you're on .co.uk. Exactly. But back. why even have the .co.uk address? Why not just do it? <laughs> I think to alleviate tension... To alleviate tension. Well, imagine if everyone in England was using .com and everyone in Europe was using .com. But I am using .com. That's just it. But you're not using code.uk. It redirects me there. Yeah. But why even have the address is my point. Why not just redirect me to a UK server and still be Google.com? Because it would, you know... That, that just breaks things. You're not allowed to have that. <laughs> That's too easy. <laughs> yeah, you got to be a .co.uk. Cheating. <laughs> Hashtag cheating. Fudge you. Go be .co.uk. <laughs> Sharon.co.uk. Sharon.co.uk. Don't go there, it's probably porn. <laughs> Anytime you had .com or .co.uk. It thing, might not be actually. There's um, some sort of operating system or something called Sharon. Probably been bought out by a porn company. Maybe. Who now has put porn all over their website. We should get a website, you know. Do you know if you go on beans.co.uk, it brings up porn? Really? Yeah. I was like really shocked. Apparently it was owned by someone else. Don't know who. Did you know that if you go on lemon, lemon party, no, <laughs> no, no, no blue muffins, no lemon parties. 
No two girls, one cup. No man with jar, or whatever it was called. <laughs> one man, one jar. Yeah, none of them, all them. <laughs> Tub girls. No two girls in the sandbox, or whatever it was called. Kids, kids in the sandbox. Kids in sandbox. That was a classic. And that was fucking dreadful. That, that was, was probably the great. cringiest of all of them. <laughs> oh, At least that one the was kind of... Yeah. Those were the days. And then you were watching this. Don't go Google them things. <laughs> Save your own innocence and don't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time it used to come on from school, like fucking thirteen year old me coming up from school. Hello, hello, darling brother. Hey, come watch this. Two girls, one circle. Oh. <laughs> and they'd be like, why is this? Why did they put a circle up your ears? Do you remember cake farts? Yes, I remember well, showing like, the cake farts. I didn't even show you it. I just went to you, just Google cake farts, and that, that was, was just, it. just left it at that. <laughs> and then you also like did the weird stuff where like you, you know, recommend like, movies with bumming in box. and things like that. I worry the about movies it. with bumming in is accidental. <laughs> it's like it's just a coincidence. <laughs> All these times, right? You keep recommending me movies that are bumming in. And we've then one talked. time he was like, "Look, watch this one. It's got Disney on the like." We've talked movie. about this so many times. What that you recommend bumming movies? It's just it just happens. Bumming I think movies. Who really are these bad idea? Who are, who are these people who keep putting bumming scenes in their movies? It's like why? Why can't you make a good movie without people? <laughs> Getting bummed <laughs> because they do it for you. No, they love it. They're like, make sure there's some bumming in there. I'll show them. We'll watch it. Just every film I end up recommending to you, someone gets bummed in it. Everyone gets bummed. There was Deliverance, <laughs> which was a Disney film, was it not? Yeah. And you said to me, hey, it's Disney. You can watch this and watch it. And then there, there was, was bumming. American History X. I think so. And then there was the sexy dog thing. Well, that was called Sexy, Sexy Dog Beast. Thing. Sexy Beast. Is also there bumming in, in that? Yep. In the Shower Getting Bummed at that one point. That is a great film, though. <laughs> For fuck's sake! That is a <laughs> great film. If you haven't seen Sexy Beast, it's a very misleading title because it's you, about gangsters. If you want to see any epic. bumming movies, just come to Shower. There, I don't even remember if there's bumming in it. It might be There lying. is bumming in it. Just watch it. There's bumming in it in the shower. It's fucking cool. There's a shower scene with bumming in it. There isn't. If Jade does watch this, is I want it to tell it? me. Yeah. Really? Yep. What every else? film you uh, have has I know, in. every fucking time, mate. It's awful. And then you like come to me and go, well, that's okay, just look at cake farts instead. <laughs> <laughs> so why? Why would you do this? Them cake farts. <laughs> fucking cake farts, bumming, those awful videos <laughs> that no one ever looks at. You were probably one of the rip rolly people as well, weren't you? On MSN, no. fucking sat there sending links to people and you were like, great, can I shorten this YouTube link into a bit link so they won't know that they're <laughs> clicking on a YouTube link so it's too late? Good old Bitly, the best. I bet that's what you did, did it? <laughs> No. <laughs> but you did. I never, I, I don't know, I never really got on board with the whole Rick Rowland thing. It's no, you just said fucking kind of dick pics instead. <laughs> dick Not your dick, though. Other just, people's dicks. Just other people's dicks. You sent their own dick back to them. <laughs> it was just, how do you get a picture of my dick, man? <laughs> oh. 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 Dick pics. Maybe you should check your cupboard next time. <laughs> if it's in a bit. I'm in there taking pictures of your dick. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is his dick in the cupboard? <laughs> one man, one cupboard. Don't, don't you keep your dick in the cupboard. No, I keep it between my legs. Oh, man. I, 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 also, I take, I take it also, off and hang it up. I'm a downer. <laughs> Not an upper. <laughs> this is, the, this is another one of those weird <laughs> things you discovered. I, I always assumed everyone was a downer for Iris. I didn't even know yeah. uppers were a thing. And Reddit? But there are. Bits. It's probably on Reddit. That would make sense. Essentially, it is the art of putting your penis in the upright position when you put your trousers on. <laughs> so that the top of your bell end pokes out from the waist. Rather than having Why? your bell end dangle between your legs and downwards like towards your feet. Person. Now obviously, this all came up with a Reddit post where a man asked how he could hide the embarrassing bulge in his skinny jeans. Yeah. Which notoriously have quite a tight impact, except in the downwards area where your penis would usually plop. And people like tried to explain to him how to do it, and then he was like, "Wait, you've all got your penis down, <laughs> mine up." And then afterwards, the guy tried it going down, and has now changed to becoming a downer. Well, <laughs> would, wouldn't you? But so many people were like, "No, no, I always put mine up and everything like that." And one guy was like, oh, "I put mine up, but I can't put my arms up because it makes um, it shows off the top of my bell end." What? Because <laughs> you know when your top lifts up, yeah, it shows off the top of his bell and it was that bad. But that's why you don't wear them that way. Oh, oh, that's why you don't so be an upper. She's so dead. Yeah, it also makes me so fucked. mad. So this guy is just watching everyone, everyone, out. everyone out there in down in Upperland. Do tell us. I, down, right? I can't believe there are even people who are uppers. It seems so backwards. But the thing is, I know how stupid people are. The thing is, people have said though that I it's have... actually quite nice. 
to have it up. It really isn't. Because you get the breeze on your speed. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's some reason behind it. I can't remember. I'm sure people said it was actually more comfortable. I suppose it's... If it's held up. How? I don't understand how. Because when it's down, gravity is exerting its force on it. But it's gravity but when it's... still exerting its force. No, it's still no, going to no. slip down. No, when it's up, it's trapped under your belt. That's how they wear it. Oh, my God. So that it's under your belt. So your belt is holding your penis what in is, place. What is wrong with these people? That's, that's what belt is for. Do you not notice? <laughs> the thing <laughs> is, it, it's one of those things of like people don't realise they're doing something that retarded until they, they speak about it yeah. and discover that everybody else puts nowadays, their penis down. And nowadays on the internet you can speak about anything. Just well, it's like, if you have something weird I knew ask, a guy do it. who used to... Um, Wear his penis on his head. Suck dicks for quavers. Oh no, wait, that's that other guy, wasn't it? Suck dick for quavers? The homeless guy who was um, sucking dog sticks for quavers. That was, that was a comedy <laughs> article. That's not a real thing. It's all real. Like that guy who put his bell end in a pasty. Guy put his bell end and a pasty. That yes. uh, that was the, another comedy one. These are all from the sport, which is like just fictional bullshit. I'm sure it is, mate. I'm sure it is. I mean, that one I kind of believe, considering the fact that you know we do have things like when you buy a screwdriver now, it says please don't insert, put in, uh, please don't insert in your anus, yeah. and it's like so someone somewhere has inserted this in their anus at some point. Has gone, hmm, screwdriver. I wonder if I can screw my anus tight. <laughs> <laughs> and quite clearly, has failed. Phoned up the customer support well, and got that on there. What I was going to say is I knew a guy who used to always, since he was born, wipe his bum stood up. Right? Wait. That's weird. I would say so. Because, right? Oh dear. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> oh dear. Most people, or at least most people I've talked about this to, right, when they found out about this guy doing this, were like, why don't you just do it while you sat down? It's easier to do it while you're sitting down. Whereas he would like literally have a crap, then stand up and do his business. Are you, are you a fucking stander up and that is weird as fuck, mate? <laughs> At least I've got a reason for it. What? I can't reach my arm on my fucking massive <laughs> hat to wipe my hat on and sat down. Wow. I need to stand up and stretch the cheeks apart, mate. <laughs> well, he wasn't a particularly large guy either. It just, it just, it seemed to have never have occurred to him. I can't believe that's the thing. That you can do that sitting down. I mean, yeah, you could probably wipe your belt while you were sat down. Something like that. <laughs> well, some people do that. You know, to stop, like, drips in your pants, they wipe their belly. Well, yeah, but, again, it's irrelevant whether you're sitting down or standing up for that. There's no, not, it it's not floor. any easier, no matter which it way you're doing. Floor, mate. You're telling me you stand up to Did you know out? that a lot of people sit down to wipe <laughs> use a cup in the bathroom to dip it in as well? What, their balls or penis? A bit of both, I think. Do they have two, one warm, one cold? It seems to be a thing that happens with people, not so much from England, but from, like... Europe. No, more subtly than that. I guess sort of like India, Africa, sort of maybe, maybe like the Middle East. I don't know, but it's like it's something I've come across, like especially sort of Muslims. <laughs> the, what, oh, what the fuck? So, uh, <laughs> Weird action you were doing moving, there, Flores. Moving on from that, but um, like because I I used to work in a shop and a couple of Muslim lads worked there, and one of them used to always take a cup, like a plastic cup, to the toilet full of water, and it took us ages to get it out of him. Why? And he was just like, "That's just what we do." But the so other weird. lad that worked there, he was Muslim as well. It's like it's not what we all fucking do, mate. I don't do it. So they pissed them, put the cup on. Yeah. The piss yeah. in the cup? No, they pee okay, and yeah. then dip their knob in a cup for some reason. Well, for, for hygiene reasons, I well, would assume. There's got to be some reason behind it. Maybe it just like funnels out the shit. Maybe it makes him feel cleaner. I don't know. I don't know. I've never actually tried it. The thing is, there's lots of things in life that we all do differently that sometimes it doesn't have any kind of difference. Sometimes it's a bit gross, like the people who don't wear pants and the people who do wear pants. It's like... You can totally see why you wouldn't pay, wear pants. It's just it's a bit weird. It's now closer to your knob. I'd imagine most <laughs> or, people... Or the other thing that's down there if you're a woman that does not wear pants. In which case, why are you not wearing pants? Go wear some pants. I think most people probably wear pants anyway because generally pants are designed to be a little bit softer well, than your outer layer of clothing. There are, there are four people in this family. How many Jeans do you think wear pants? Uh, well, I know me and you and mum do. 
<laughs> he, he hasn't worn pants for about six years. I know. He just one day went, Janet, I don't want to wear any pants anymore. <laughs> Damn it, I'm done wearing pants, Janet. <laughs> just, just suddenly ripped his pants off, <laughs> burned them in a stick. <laughs> <laughs> just threw money at her. Go buy me jeans with pants built in. It's, it's, it's Damn just, it, It's just not a pants man, is he, Dante? It's just not yeah. a... Pants man. He is a bit of a weird I'm guy, I'm a pants anyway. man. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a weird guy. He doesn't do that much weird, though. He does do something. That's pretty stuff. weird shit, mate. I'm sure there's someone out there that's probably weirder, like some guy comment on this video, go, huh, my dad seems to like eat pepper early in the morning at 3 a.m. The thing and about. Like, that, that's weird. The thing <laughs> about our dad is that the, the sort of key defining feature of our dad is he does a lot of <laughs> DIY. <laughs> <laughs> Badly, <laughs> and, he's, yeah, and he's also very bad at DIY. He used to be a joiner back in the day. Well, surprisingly, he's not which that is, bad he's at like, DIY. Yeah, if which, you ask him to build a shed, he'll build a shed. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, but yeah it, along but the lines. <laughs> the thing is, he can do it. That's the thing. He used to yeah. be a joiner, which is like a carpenter. Okay, so he can build things out of wood, and they're pretty decent things. Okay, but during the doing of this, he will mutilate himself in increasingly elaborate ways like he ran um, he ran an electric cable out to the shed so the shed's got electricity yeah. so that you can use power tools in the shed pretty pretty straightforward and he used um, a circular saw to like cut a groove in the concrete all the way to the shed only rather than using any sort of guide thing or like you know any sort of <laughs> safety features he just fucking whipped out a circular saw and went for it and obviously he bounced off the concrete at one point and just went into his leg just sawed a fucking huge gash into his leg. Now, luckily, the blade was so hot that it just instantly cauterized it. What so I find funny... There was just, like, blood all over the floor, but no actual blood coming out. What I find funny out. is also, he's the kind of man that when he came in, instead of screaming about his leg, when... Ah, it's my favourite pair of jeans as well. Yeah, but any sane, pair of jeans. Is, any sane person yeah. in this same situation would be like, oh, shit, I've just circular sawed my leg. I'd better go to hospital. He never went. No. Never. He's still not been... She's got a massive gash in his leg that's kind of cauterised and he basically probably festering. Glued it. <laughs> he basically glued it shut. Well, he's done that, hasn't he, with his fingers? He's super chopped glue. his fingers off and super glued them back on. Just the tips. Because the, They can't feel anything anymore. Because <laughs> you, you can super glue wounds shut. It's, yeah. not, it's a thing, but it's meant to be a temporary measure to yeah. get you to hospital. It's not like... Don't you know, just you're not meant to hold yourself together with gaffer way. tape and super yeah. glue, yet somehow he does. <laughs> and he survived the whole leg thing. He didn't go septic and drop off like you would expect. Somehow, by a miracle, because it instantly cauterized, he and was he fine. He just kind of washed it with. A bit well, he of wasn't alcohol. fine. He was limping for well, fucking weeks. I was going to say he washed it with alcohol. He probably just drank the alcohol. <laughs> it took <laughs> and so purified long. Purified it from the inside. <laughs> it took so long to heal. And we paused. No wonder this fucking yeah. caravan's not turning up. And then it's like. He was doing something, I can't remember what he was doing, but I saw him doing something with a screwdriver in the kitchen and I was like, oh, that's not going to end well. I could tell just by the just by the method he was using that this was going to yeah. be a bad thing. And then a few minutes later, he came in with his thumb just spurting blood, like literally like spurting blood. He does it all the time. And he was just like, I need you to do something with my thumb. I'm like, well, fucking chop it off. I was like, what the hell? He was like... It's bleeding. I'm like, yeah, man, you've hit a fucking vein there. You need to go to hospital. It was like, no, what I need you to do <laughs> is fucking sellotape this onto the thumb. And he had this fucking thing. And I was like, oh, my God, why? And then he was like, <laughs> so we got this fucking thing, this like just wad of like material basically, and sellotape onto his thumb. And it just like instantly bled through and ruined the sellotape. He was like, okay, have you got any gaffer tape, like duct tape? I'm like, yeah, I have. So then I had to go get the fucking duct tape and duct tape it on instead because the cellar tape wasn't strong enough. And bizarrely enough, he's, oh he's still God. fine. He's, 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 yeah. he's still kind of like, he <laughs> drinks every night, he goes on vacations, he parties. He's Like one time he brought the suitcases downstairs and he just basically froze because he'd like broken his entire back. <laughs> yeah, that, one, that one was actually hilarious. <laughs> he stood on the stairs just like, someone take the suitcase off me, I can't move my back. <laughs> and still, still when he got to the hospital, he's like, it's okay, I'll just have a drink and it will heal. <laughs> like every part of my body. <laughs> I'll just have a few whiskies, I'll be fine. <laughs> He's done that thing where he hurt his feet, you remember that? And like for driving, she was like, oh, he, he has some problems driving to his feet and everything. And then night before, he was just like, hey, I'm a, like as long as I'm drunk, I won't feel anything. <laughs> I don't think he'd hurt his feet, I think that was fucking gout from all the goddamn whiskey. That probably is, yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, I've got gout, pass me whiskey, I need to cure it. <laughs> <laughs> Drink all your problems away. <laughs> Drink all your gout away. 
<laughs> can do your toes. <laughs> Nobody knows. The thing is, old school dads can fucking do shit like this and get away with it. It's like if I tried, yeah. if I fucking sawed my goddamn leg off and just ignored it, it would fester and I'd die. Yeah. I mean, if I get like a cut, it immediately starts to fester and just, weep and uh. You have to wonder. Uh, and well, it's like it like you said about stuff. chopping the fingers off. It's like that was a legit thing that happened. It was yeah. when I was little. <laughs> that woman in the street. You weren't actually born. You've only got that on second-hand knowledge. Oh yeah, mum told me she was but, like, um, um, so basically he chopped off all his fingertips. It, this was while he was a joiner. He came home from work with his fingertips in a bag, <laughs> and asked mum to basically glue them back on and then like stitch them. I bet you any money. And he'd done it on a bandsaw. He'd been putting like wood through the bandsaw yeah. and it had gone straight through the tips of his fingers. Now not not like the whole thing, not like down to the knuckle, just the tips. Yeah, just the tips. But just the tip. Rather than do anything fucking sane, he, his instant thought was, right, put them in a bag, take them home, glue them back on. <laughs> <laughs> Once they glued on, <laughs> sew them back on. And it's like, and they heal. He can't feel anything in them because obviously the fucking yeah. nerve endings are dead. But the skin bizarrely healed. It healed. Amazingly, and it healed. As we say, the skin healed, but the nerves never did. So it's like, if you ask him to pick up a hot pan, he can't feel how hot the pan is. <laughs> but somehow, his fucking hand still heals from this. It's unbelievable. Oh, God. It's amazing. The stories you can tell how about. How he gets away with it. It just is like... <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I bet he only wanted when he came home. He got all his fingertips glued back on and then went, get me a whiskey. Yeah, probably. <laughs> just that seems to be the cure. <laughs> just fucking whiskey and super glue. <laughs> whiskey super glue with a bit of gaffer tape. A bit of gaffer tape. A bit of gaffer just tape. to hold it all together. Gaffer, duct tape, love. Just... <laughs> it's got so much duct tape on him, he will start whacking. Oh, God. <laughs> This guy. Oh, no. I don't we've, know how he does it. We've fleeced these merchants for so much, you know. We've got 37 grand and they've got a thousand each now. We've taken Ugh. all of their money. I mean, just, it blows my mind how he survives all these it is things. bizarre. And it's just the worrying thing is, it's like, what next? It's only a matter of time till something else happens. Well, the worrying thing is, what if it one day happens to us? Well, it, the thing is, one day it'll be something so serious that he'll either go to a hospital or die. And he won't go to hospital. He fucking hates hospitals and doctors yeah, and all that shit. It'll be the death of him. It really will be the death of him. Well, it's a good job he's got a family. Because if he was one of these little old men that lives alone, one, <laughs> one day he'd take it too far and they would just find him like weeks later, just like, <laughs> I don't know, just with a fucking drill bit through his knee or something where he's drilled a bit of wood and like drilled it into his we'll leg. Find him weeks later, circular saw on the ground, two legs down, he'll be sat in his chair and what's left of his ass. One of those men who accidentally with nails a glass, of... With a glass of whiskey still in his hand, <laughs> just frozen in a death pause, rigmarole is just saying. One of those men who accidentally like nails his foot to a floorboard or something. Nails his hand to his knee. <laughs> 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 just sat there with his what hands always on his what? knee. Oh, that was in the young ones where he nails his knees to the yeah, fucking table. The table <laughs> That's <nice>. amazing. <laughs> He's nailing the plates down. <laughs> the thing is, you can just imagine, right? Just him kneeling his hands to his knees. And as you go, are you going to get up and see us? Can't. Can't. <laughs> can't nail myself to the table. <laughs> can't can't my whiskey. <laughs> can't when give out whiskey. When did you hands. do that, Dad? Oh, a week ago. It's all right. I up. think that would be the major crisis for him. If anything happened to the hands, <laughs> then pick up the whiskey. <laughs> anything else is quite okay. If the legs go, you can still drink whiskey. <laughs> if the heart goes, you can still kind of drink whiskey. He's the kind of guy, if he chopped his fucking hand off, his first thought would be, how do I sew this back on? Well, no, it'd be gaffer tape and super glue. We already established. It's a bit of super he'd glue be, on the stump. He'd be super the glue in the vein shut to yeah. stop himself bleeding to death. <laughs> he would do. Honestly, he just he seems to think of himself as the fucking wood man. <laughs> I am made of wood. <laughs> Regardless how injured I get, I can glue it back. <laughs> Shut up and pat Don't be such a baby. Limbs grow back. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they don't. don't. <laughs> He totally would like have some way of making it grow back that he'd probably oh, glue yeah. his limb back on. And then you'd be like, Can you use it? Nope, just drags me out of it, but anyway, he probably might have a wooden foot and we wouldn't even know about it. <laughs> Chop his own foot off, just make it run out of wood, glue it on, it's fine. You'll just go over and see what it it'll just be wibbling along the floor with his legs like noodle. <laughs> Come off, off, glue them back on. It's already working for you now. 50-50, not being dead. Have my good days, have my bad days. <laughs> Depends how much whiskey I've had. <laughs> you know, the good thing oh, is, because there's no kind of like nerves or attachments, the whiskey never gets in the legs now. Oh, <laughs> so that no fucking gash on his leg, I can't believe that didn't yeah. fucking 
How how he didn't hit a fucking artery? He's done it all the time, though. Amazing. In um, when we were living in Greece, at one point, he was using a blowtorch to burn something, (laughs) and the blowtorch set on fire, and he wouldn't throw it away because he was stood in the middle of like this ground where there's olive trees to the right side that haven't had water in ages, so they're just ready to blow. (laughs) And the other option is throwing it at his own house. (laughs) So he was like, I don't really know what to do. So he's asking his mate to go get some water while the fire is spreading along his arm, burning his arm hairs off. (laughs) (laughs) I just fucking throw it somewhere. An immigrant arrived and it froze the game temporarily. That well, was pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty fucked to be honest. Oh, God. Right, so, Valerius, I'm going to pause it there, because that was fucking hilarious. Fucking dad. Comedy Gold. Who's Comedy joined? Gold. Anastas Meverell. Who died joined. for that one to join? Um, it's that one that died last, like, two episodes ago, then the first episode just turned up. They haven't been very happy, because I've had him in the mines, uh, mining away. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, that'll probably make them unhappy. Yeah, well, all the happiness items are here in the market and places, so that's why they've just suddenly got the happiness boost. Right, anyway, we're going to leave it there, Valerius. So if you'd like to say bye-bye to everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. We will see you next time, guys. Bye.